In this video, we want to show you how to prepare and run a digital performance meeting. To learn how to create and edit a meeting dashboard, please check out our other how-to videos on our channel. To prepare a meeting, we choose the meeting we want to prepare from our list of meetings. It's very easy to update the different components in the dashboard, either in preparation to a meeting or during the meeting. Let's start with the example of a gauge. We just click on the component and enter our desired value. We can just type it in or use the small arrows. By clicking advanced we get the option to adjust the target values as well as the corresponding colors. We can close the window by selecting done and the gauge is updated. This works similar with almost all components. Just select it and the input window opens. We can enter the actual and in some instances the target value. Next, let's update a calendar component. Again, just click on it. In the input window, we just enter the desired value. Next, let's have a look at charts. Once again, we just click on it. And in the dialog window, first, we're going to choose a date. Like all the components, if we don't select a specific date, today's date is automatically set. And there can be lists on our dashboard. How we update components like this depends a little bit on the different items within the list. There are different options like text, numbers, dates, checkboxes or drop-down menus. We can update those by clicking on it. For number or text fields we can just type in the desired value. We can add a new line to our list by simply clicking the plus button. Now we can enter new values into our new line. There's also a component called Kanban. We can create different cards with different kinds of information and put them into different buckets in the Kanban. To create a new Kanban card, we just click on plus and to enter more information, we click on the magnifying glass. We can then just drag and drop the new card into the desired category or bucket. Besides updating the dashboards manually, we can also do this by uploading an Excel file. Therefore, we first need to download the existing dashboard as an Excel file by selecting the download button. When we open the downloaded Excel file, you can see that there's two tabs for each component. The one we want to edit in order to update the dashboard later is the one which is not called underscore Pareto. We can now alter our actual and historic values for any component. Once we're done, we save our Excel file on our local hard drive. We then upload the just saved Excel file by clicking the upload button and selecting the file. As we can see, our near miss component is now updated according to the Excel file. When creating our dashboard, we can select external data connections to update our components value. By clicking on the cloud symbol, all external data is fetched and automatically updated. In this case, we've just updated our average OEE component. In one of our other videos, the meeting board how-to, we will show you how to deal with issues and actions and how to escalate actions into other meetings. Once we are done preparing our meeting board, in order to start a meeting, we simply click the start meeting button on the agenda. Notice that we automatically switch from preparation mode into meeting mode. If we now click on components, we can see all linked issues, actions or challenges on the right. If we click on the background, we can see all issues or actions of all components. Let's go back to a specific component. We can add issues, actions, challenges or documents by clicking on the corresponding plus button, just as we learned. 
if we want to adjust or add a component's value in a running meeting, we can just click on the meeting mode button and are back to preparation mode while the meeting timer is still running. If we now click on a component, we can update its value. We hope you liked the video and be sure to check out all the other how-to videos on our Solvays channel.